Today we are gonna use a bunch of tools with some masking in the free app Snapseed to give this image some punch with vibrant look. First thing after importing this to Snapseed, the biggest distraction we notice in the image is the wire just above the mountain. So to remove that we are gonna start with the healing tool. Zoom as far as possible and start brushing over this wire to remove it. Just need to make sure the result should easily blend with the sky here. Also need to be careful around the edges where it may not work as desired. You can undo and brush again if it doesn't come out properly. So around the edges I'm gonna leave a bit of wire at the original zoom that normally gets unnoticed. Next we are gonna get some details back by increasing the shadows for some light in the darkness. and decreasing the highlights for details in the sky. With the curves tool, I'm gonna apply a bit of contrast with the preset soft contrast. Now a bunch of selective filters, first on the blues of the sky, darken a bit, also increase the saturation. One on the right part of the sky on the clouds. Here I'll make it darker as I'll be creating some artificial light on the left side which I'll come back to later. Some pop on the greens. Also on the cabins down below. Now to create artificial light we are gonna use curves. You can check my video which I will link it below in the video description on how the curves tool works. Here first I will brighten the overall image by dragging the RGB curve towards left. Then to create some orange tones I am gonna add reds by dragging the red curve towards left and yellows by dragging the blue curve towards right. Note that dragging the blue curve right removes the blues but adds yellows. Then with masking, that is tap the stacks icon on the top right, view edits, the latest curves effect and brush. First I will disable the effect, then with the brush value at 100, I will zoom out and brush on the parts where the effect is required. Here on the left part of the sky to create some light. Also little here on the greens where light is supposed to hit. Now to make the image more interesting, I am gonna apply vintage filter with default values and the preset 12 which kind of gives image a vignette effect. Now with masking, I will remove the effect on the parts to make them pop. Next bit of dodging with the brush tool. 
a bit on the greens and cabins to make them little more brighter. Now for some selective sharpening. First I will add structure in the details menu and apply it on the cabins and a bit on the greens with masking. Again on the same parts with the curves tool and masking I am gonna apply some high contrast. To give more color to the sky, in the white balance menu, add temperature and tint. And then with masking, apply it on the brighter parts of the sky. Also a bit on the greens. If you feel the effect is too much, you can always come back and reduce the values. So the changes here after each effect and the final result. Thanks for watching.